Now, let's see what a ratio is. As we said earlier, it is comparison of two or more quantities of the same kind by division. Now, when we talk about comparison by way of ratios, there are certain things you need to take care of. You need to see, understand that we are comparing two quantities of the same kind. For example, if I say my earnings are rupees 10,000 and I own three blazers, find the ratio of this, it makes no sense. I can compare my earnings with my friend's earnings or I can compare the number of blazers that I have with the number of blazers that my friend has or I can compare the area of my living room with the area of my bedroom. So we compare two or more quantities of the same kind, be it money, be it uh, area, be it the number of items that you hold of the same kind. Hence that is one thing you need to take care of. For example, here we have ratio of boys to girls is 20 is to 10. Now we are comparing the number of boys to the number of girls is 20 is to 10. If you remember the reverse inverse ratio, the ratio of girls to boys is 10 is to 20. Yes. So the first thing that as I told you is when you compare, you need to compare two or more quantities of the same kind. And one more very important thing is when you make the comparison, we need to convert the ratio, the ratios into the same units. For example, suppose I work for one hour. So I have, I am working for one hour and say Alan works for 20 minutes. So Alan works for 20 minutes. Now this is hour and this is minutes. Now if you take the ratio of the time that I spend and the time that Alan spends, you will in, in case you directly find the ratio, it will turn out to be 1 is to 20 and it will give you a deceptive feeling that Alan has worked more than me. So we need to convert either this hours to minutes or minutes to hours. So since it's easier to convert hours to minutes, we can write this as 60 and this as 20. So in that case, the ratio would turn out to be 60 by 20 which if you simplify it turns out to be 3 is to 1. And we also saw one more thing that the final ratio should be in the most simplified form. So if you look at this example ratio of boys to girls 20 is to 10 can be further simplified as 2 is to 1. Yes. So we need to do three things we need to take care. One is we can compare two or more quantities of the same kind. Secondly, the final ratio has to be in the most simplified form and in case the quantities that you're comparing are not in the same units, even if they happen to be quantities of the same kind, we need to see that they are converted to the same units. And we can of course, often it's being told over here two or more quantities. For example, you can find the ratio of angles of a triangle. So suppose the ratio of angles, the angles of a triangle are 30 degrees. 60 degrees and 90 degrees. These are the angles of it. So we have three quantities that are being compared of a triangle and hence the ratio is if you look at it, if you apply everything that we did, we need to divide all these by a common factor. So when you divide all these by 30, you get 1 is to 2 is to 3. So the ratio of the angles is 1 is to 2 is to 3. Similarly here, we apply the concept of maintaining the same units. So ratio between 250 grams and 2 kg. So this is going to be 250 grams and 2 kgs. Since 1 kg has 1000 grams, we write it as 2 into 1000. Which turns out to be 250 would go 4 times and you get 1 by 8. So the ratio between 250 grams and 2 kgs is 1 is to 8. Once again, the ratio of 2 kgs to 250 grams would be 8 is to 1, which is the inverse ratio of this. Again, we take another example, ratio between 5 minutes and 30 seconds. So 5 minutes ratio is going to be 5 minutes, 5 minutes, 5 minutes and you have 30 seconds. We know so it's 5 minutes, so it's going to be 5 into 60 seconds upon 30 seconds and 
Again, there will be no units in the final ratio because the final ratio doesn't have any units. So you have 30 and 5 and you get 10. Now you're not going to write it as 10, although the denominator is 1. I told you, here comes the difference of ratio. So you're going to write it as 10 is to 1. So the ratio is going to be 10 is to 1. So the ratio of 5 minutes to 30 seconds is 10 is to 1. Reverse, inverse ratio, ratio of 30 seconds to 5 minutes is 1 is to 10. So if you sum up what we learned, four major rules that we have. One is we can compare only ratios of, we can compare quantities of only two or more of the same kind, right? The secondly, the ratios have to be in the most simplified form. We, if there is any common factor between the two or more terms, we need to cancel them. And whenever we take the ratio, even if they are of the same quantity, we have to see that the units are maintained consistent. If R, everything should be in R, all the quantities, all the various time factors. If you're talking about money, either you convert everything to rupees or everything to passive. And the final ratio has no units. So these are the points which tells at a rudimentary level what things have to be taken care of when you talk about a ratio. Let's move ahead.